See, what y'all going to stop doing is being scary fans. We about to go to Minnesota, do horrible things to them on Halloween, and get this dub. Period. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk right back like I never left. What's good with y'all, man? Sunday getting closer. It's fun to me that that, that we playing on Halloween. Like, because it's going to, we going to do some terrible things in Minnesota, man. But I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. Um, Let's talk about what's going on with the team. Because there's some important things going on. As y'all hear my daughter in the back not respecting this, this video. But look, <laughs> we lost two players today. Not lost them as in we didn't know they were hurt already. We just found out how long they're going to be gone. Um, Maurice Kennedy with a concussion and Brent Urban with a, uh, I think he got a, a small tear in his tricep or something like that. Um, both gone for three weeks, placed on IR. Not good. I really have liked how, how um, Brent Urban has been doing on the D-line. He's definitely been one of our, our better run defenders, and we're going to miss him. We are going to miss him. You know what I'm saying? Maurice Kennedy has worked in a little bit. He hasn't been as impressive as he was in camp, but um, I like I like Maurice Kennedy. I like him as a piece on this team. But look, <clears throat> you know what the NFL is. It's called next man up. So it's kind of important now that Tristan Hill gets on that field. I really do feel like that. Because our D-tackle one right now is Odigi Zua, who's been balling this year. Right? Carlos Watkins. Those have been the starters. But now the backups are super important this week, right? Tristan Hill, Big Bo, Quentin Bohana. We need them to ball this week. We're going to need them because Dalvin Cook and Minnesota are definitely coming to run. So that D-tackle room is important. Got to keep Micah Parsons, Neal, and LVE clean. So I need them to play. I need Big Bo to have his best game. I need Tristan Hill to have a game. I ain't seen him in a minute. So they're important. Other people that are coming up, man, with Kennedy going down, boss man fat, who they were saying might play, might get some playing time, I feel like will play because of us placing them on IR. I feel like this is tipping our hat to who's going to play. I feel like boss man will play, and we will need him now. Now, he's not going to start. Anthony Brown will start. Trayvon Diggs will start. But look, man, boss man, when you get on that field, it's time to show and prove. We've been waiting for you. I'm the President of the Boss Man Fat Fan Club, I know you're going to ball, have no doubt. But it went from you getting eased in, go get a couple snaps, rookie, to, hey, man, we might need you to play 10 to 15 snaps. Well, it's important because Minnesota ain't no slouches on the, in the receiver side. So you might get matched up with Thielen or Jefferson. You need to come and show everybody why I've been so hyped. You feel me? Um, more thumbs up from Jerry Jones on Dak Prescott. Um Basically just saying, you know, in, in in Jerry speak, he basically said, we wouldn't put Dak out there if we felt like he would get further further injured. That's basically what he said. It was a little bit more convoluted than that because I don't speak Jerry. I'm not fluid in Jerry. But what he said is, basically, we won't put Dak back out there if we feel like he's going to get further hurt. Which makes me happy. Meaning that they are willing to take the L as far as keeping him out if it was going to be further injury. Even I would do that. But I don't feel like it's that deep. I feel like Dak is fine. I feel like he did strain his calf, but I feel like this has been enough rest. Y'all ain't do this with um, Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Gar Gar Garoppolo got hurt. He had a bye week. He came back. I ain't hear one story about it. I saw a calf strain this year. It's a calf strain. He just played. Nobody said nothing about, oh, dude, they shouldn't play him. It might further injure because they don't care because they ain't got this on there. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even that deep. It just ain't. But, um, yeah, man. I also wanted to touch on this. And I'm going to touch on it a little bit further this week because I've been looking into, you know, what we will need to do to win this game. But, man, I noticed that, yo, Minnesota got the 26th ranked rushing defense. Allowing 128 a game. Come on, Vikings. Ezekiel Elliott is going to ball. Tony Pollard is going to ball. Last year. Zeke had 100 and, I think, 100, 100 plus yards. I forgot the exact amount of yardage. 
And Tony Pollard had 60 yards last year on Minnesota. Shoot, Andy Dalton dropped three touchdowns on Minnesota last year. And y'all walking around scared of them. Look, I know they got a potent offense. Congratulations. A lot of teams in the league got good receivers and a good quarterback. Y'all going to walk around scared for the rest of y'all life? Why y'all so shook? Do y'all see what we got on our end? There's no way in the world Minnesota looking at our offense like, man, they sweet. They know what we're doing. We're the number one ranked offense in the NFL. Number one, not two, three, four, five. What's wrong with y'all? I don't do this low self-esteem fan stuff. I don't do this second-guessing stuff. That ain't what I do. That just ain't what I do. I would hate to be in a locker room with some of the fans. Yo, man, you, you see what Minnesota got? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do this week. You see Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson. I don't know what we're going to. You think Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, you think Micah Parsons is worried about them? You think he's like, you don't know I'm going to tackle Trayvon or Dalvin Cook. I might just. You think Trayvon Diggs is worried about Justin Jefferson? Hold on. Oh, oh. First and foremost, Dallas fans, Cowboys fans, man. Y'all starting, y'all, y'all so scared of teams and their players and always on their nuts. Y'all big enough stuff that never even happened. I saw a dude say, Did you see what Tray what happened to Trayvon Diggs last year when he tried to cover Justin Jefferson? Trayvon Diggs didn't even play in the Minnesota game last year. Y'all just making up stuff? Yeah, he scored last year on someone else. Trayvon Diggs was on IR. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all so shook. Y'all just making up stuff? Justin Jefferson is great. He ain't CD Lamb, but he's great. But we don't got Chadobi and Woozy and Reggie Robinson running out there like we did in the game last year. Y'all do realize that. Xavier Woods ain't back there. We got Malik Hooker back there. KZ. Donovan Wilson, you know, the one that, that, that had Dalvin Cook limp, limp off the field? That's what we got back there. I don't get y'all sometimes, man. I hate to get so animated, but it's frustrating. The It's like a swinging pendulum. Cowboys fans only get excited and puff their chest out when we up leading. There's no confidence until we lead in. I'm not saying don't respect your opponent, but I ain't never walked into a fight. Scared I'm going to get knocked out. You don't do that. You respect your opponent. You study your opponent. And then you execute. You don't walk around shook. You don't be like, yo, man, I know he can fight, but I'm scared. You might as well not even fight. You feel me? Minnesota's a good team. Great. I'm happy they're good. I want to play good teams. I want to keep sharpening this iron so when we get to the playoffs, we ain't nothing to play with. I don't want to play weak teams. What's the point of that? But I'm also not going to approach games when we play good teams and be like, yo, I don't know what we're going to do. No, no. We're nice. Five and one nice. High in the power rank is nice. Start acting like it. What is wrong with y'all? Yo, if we acted, if of our players carried themselves the same way that some of the, some of the fans, not everybody, just some of the fans, it's just so scary. We would not win nothing. Oh, it's frustrating. Listen, let me get back on track. Listen, we lost some players, but we got some good dogs coming up. Michael Gallup is coming back, and I know he can't wait to get on that field and show what he can do. He trained all summer, all offseason, and got hurt after the first game. He can't wait to get back, and he's going to pay dividends. We're going to run the ball down their throat because we got one of the meanest. We got maybe the meanest rushing attack in the league, two, one-two punch. We're going to run the ball down their throat. And as soon as they start coming up, especially on you, Everson Griffin, I, I, I see you can't wait for Sunday. We can't wait neither. We're going to run the ball down their throat. And as soon as they start coming up trying to load the box, <laughs> you think Andy Dalton dropped three touchdowns. Dak might throw five. That's how I feel. Because that's how I roll. That's how I carry myself. I feel like y'all should do the same. Look, it's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. It's getting closer. We're going to talk more specifically about what we need to do to win this game. I holler.